top off what we're doing uh, in class the other day is that uh, basically you guys are going to be, I'm going to, I gave you a video to do while obviously we're all out on uh, six. So the only difference between what you're going to be doing and what the videos are going to be doing, the videos are always going to end in a quadratic equation. The quadratic equations uh, you'll see can only end in the following ways. Okay, and you guys are always going to use the minus b formula to uh, answer these questions, okay? So if I give you this as an example, minus 27, and then what we call plus 5x in the middle, okay? So these are all solved questions, and you guys are all going to be using the minus b formula. So every question I give you should have a quadratic equation at the very end, okay? So it's your job to use your own med, uh, basically the Daniel system as we coined it, okay? So... Remember, uh, to get your A, B, and C values, your A value is what comes beside the X squared. Your B value is what comes beside the X. Your C value is the regular number before the equal sign on the left-hand side, and then you usually have a zero. So in each question, in this question here, the A value will be one, and the B value will be minus four. And the C value will be zero. In the second question, the A value will be one, there's no x value in this question, so the b value will be 0. And finally, the c value will be minus 4. In the third question, the a value will be 2. The b value will be 5. The minus b value will be minus 5. I forgot to put up there that the minus b value will be plus 4. And finally, the c value will be minus 12. So every time we, we're going to use the... Uh, we're going to try to use the minus b formula in our calculator. I just want to remind you guys of how we actually enter that into the calculator. Okay. So you press the fraction button first. And then you pull in. Now remember, whatever you write in your calculator, you're going to write in your exam. So, so here's what we do. We have a, we press the fraction button first. We look for minus b first, which is plus 4. Plus square root. Now you can set up your brackets minus 4 times blank times blank, all over 2 times blank. Now we're going to put in our numbers here, okay? So uh, b squared is going to be 4 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is going to be 1 times 0, all over 2a, which is going to be 2 times 1. See the way I replaced in all the numbers? b is minus, uh, sorry, b is minus 4. And, plus, uh, and minus b is plus 4. You press the equal sign here, and you find out that x equals 4. So that is one answer for this question here. x equals 4. Whoever the second answer, you got to go back over here, and please make sure that you always have a plus or a minus here. So we do a minus here, and you find out the second answer is 0. And that will get you the answer for the first question, question A, we'll call it. Now, to do question B, we're going to do the same technique, except the numbers are going to be different. So we'll go back here and empty all our brackets. So that's deleted. And then there's no C value. Then get rid of the A value. And then get rid of the B squared value. And then finally, get rid of the, the minus B value. Now, we have to look out for what minus B is this case. Well, if B is 0, minus B will also be 0. We enter in plus for our first answer. Now we're looking for b squared. Okay, so everybody see the way we're looking for b squared? So what is b? b is 0. 4 times, which number is that? It's a, so 4 times 1. And then times minus 4. All over 2 times 1. Okay. Put that into the equals, press equals, and you get x equals 2 as your first answer. So x equals 2 is your first answer. Go all the way back. Change the plus to a minus. And then the next answer is minus 2. x equals minus 2. Okay, and that's your second question done as, as well as you can using the minus b form. Now the next one. Once again, we go back and we clear out everything we need to clear out. We don't know. Uh, we just leave the brackets uh, empty. Like so. So it's four times blank. Now, you should always start off with this in your calculator. See the way it's just all nice and blanks like this, okay? Now, your A value, 
your so your your minus your a value is two, your b value is five, your c value is minus twelve. So in a case like this, your minus b value is minus five. We do plus as our first answer. Your b value is five. Then you put in your a value here because it's remember it's minus four ac all over two a. So that'd be four times two. C is going to be minus 12 all over 2 times A, which is 2 times 2. Press the equal sign. Well, your first answer is going to be X equals 1.5. That's okay. And then your next answer is going to be X equals, we'll just get rid of this here. Now remember, whatever you write in the calculator, you got to write out here. Okay, so that's minus 4. So although you get the answers to get full marks for the workings in your exam, you're going to have to write everything like this. You're going to have your your four plus or minus your square root. You're going to have minus four squared minus four times one times zero all over two times one. Okay, so that's your workings for the first question. Your workings for your second question is going to be zero plus or minus the square root. It's going to be b squared, so zero squared minus four times a times c so it's going to be one times minus four all over two times one you have to write that down as well and finally the last one which is minus b which is minus five plus or minus the square root of b squared so it's five squared minus four times a times c all over two a just two times two. All right, guys, best of luck with the, with the work. Please remember, all questions I do will end in either one of these ways, and then you just do the minus B formula and make sure you get the same answer I get.